it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe if you're also back welcome back thank you so much for joining me again I'm so happy to see your face but if you're new and maybe you like what you see please consider subscribing we have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty and I love to get ready with you guys where I just sit down playing some makeup like we're doing today and just chat today I just wanted to play with this new palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills it's the Cosmos palette and I picked it up on a whim because I went in store at Sephora to do some swatches and I saw this palette and I was intrigued the swatches that I did were beautiful and I was like you know what I'm gonna try this palette out and I'm headed over to my brother's house right now I wanted to do a quick look something easy and I came up with this, which is a little bit more smoky than I expected, but I love it because it still goes with my shirt. So if you just want to chat with me while I try this palette out, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, guys. So as usual, I'm starting off with a clean, freshly washed face. And I feel like I'm always in a rush with these Get Ready With Me videos, but this one is going to be a challenge because I have about... I want to give myself about 20 minutes, right? So I got to get out of here. I'm headed over to my brother's house because they are doing something on the grill. <laughs> so my nephew and my brother leave tomorrow. They are about to drive to Minnesota to drop my nephew off. So my nephew is taking his car with him. I know, imagine being that age with a car. Can you imagine? That's how it should be though. You should be able to help your kids get started in life because I had to buy my own car and child, my mama did not have the means to provide for me to get that done. So anyway, they're driving his car to Minnesota tomorrow and it's gonna take them a couple of days and then my brother is gonna just fly back from Minnesota what a trip that's gonna be but anyway my nephew's last day is today so they are just doing something quick on the grill and I'm about to go over I was tasked with the escovitch sauce so I'm going to go make that and they told me to come over early so I have to go but being who I am, I'm like, oh, maybe I can film something before I go because my intent was to actually film today because I just got back from my trip. I went to Jamaica really quick for a week and now I'm back and I haven't filmed anything since I got back. And I was like, oh, I can get some filming done this weekend. You know, I'm back. But yesterday was a wash. Yesterday was Saturday. Today's Sunday. Today is Father's Day. I had to do laundry, unpack, clean, um, like do some errands, like I had some returns to do. It was like a whole situation. I put this on already, right? So I put on my primers and so I didn't really have time to film yesterday and then we went over to my aunt's house. She's in West Palm Beach so it's a drive from here. It's about 45 minutes to an hour. So I went out there in the nighttime and I didn't have enough time to film or do anything before that other than like the regular chores and errands and stuff that I had planned out. And then today I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna film today since I'm off and I didn't get around to it yet because I'm still doing laundry and packing up stuff because I had done laundry before I left and I'd left the stuff in the dryer so I had to <laughs> pack those up, hang everything up, wash everything that I brought on vacation, unpack, clean the kitchen, empty my refrigerator. I had to clean the refrigerator because I had like food in there that they're no good anymore so I had to empty that out I had to go to the supermarket and of course get groceries for the week so needless to say I was busy and then yesterday ended up just being a wash and then today I was finishing some of the stuff up and just relaxing chilling you know vibing and I also went to Sephora to grab 
a couple of things and do some swatches for an upcoming video, a shopping block video, right? So I went in store and was doing the swatches. So that took some time. And now I am rushing because I don't have that much time to get ready before I head over to my brother. So long story short or short story long, right? Anyway, let's go ahead, fill in the brows. My brows just look so shabby, especially after vacation, because I wasn't tweezing them while on vacation, so the upkeep was minimal, and now they look rough as hell. They do. They really look rough. Oh my god. If you hear any little sounds in the background, that is my dryer going, because like I said, I had to do some laundry. I washed my makeup brushes. I was very productive, but there's just not enough time between 12 and 6 as far as I'm concerned because I don't really get started and it's probably a bad habit that I need to break, but I don't really get started doing things and started with my day until like 11 o'clock and by the time I turn around, it's 6 o'clock and I'm like, where did the time go? Because I didn't do that much, but yet it's 6 o'clock, so where is the time going? And I don't see myself being a morning person at this point. I am 40. I'm never going to be a morning person. So I'm not going to jump up at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock and be out and about. Like, no. That's never going to be me. If I have to get up early, I will. So it's not that I can't, but I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not. I'd rather lay about, chill, and vibe, and then once it hits 10, 30, 11, that's when my day really gets started and I'm out of bed. Before that, I'm like washing dishes if I had like things from the night before. Like I'll drink something so there's a glass on my nightstand so I'll wash that. I'll straighten up the kitchen. Like I'm doing those little miscellaneous things before I actually start my full day. So I'm gonna need there to be more time <laughs> between 11 and six or 12 and six because that's when I am my most active, right? Putting on some NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer under my brows and on my lids. The shade I use is, which one was that? This was Toffee, so that's what I'm doing. But how have you guys been? Like, what have you guys been up to? How has your summer been so far? What are the plans? What's going on? I have traveled a bit this year so far. So I just came back from my Charleston trip in North Carolina. Before that, I was in Philadelphia. I went to Thailand for my birthday and now I just got back from Jamaica. So I've done some traveling so far this year. We are probably going to go to Cayman. My uncle, one of my uncles, lives in Cayman. So I'll probably go to Cayman for like a quick weekend just to get away and head there. And then my brother that lives here and his wife, so my sister-in-law, they're planning to go to the Bahamas in September. So I may piggyback on that trip as well. But I'm like, just how much vacation do you think you have, sweetie? How much time do you think you have? But you know what? I'm going to be living my best life, doing what needs to be done. And as long as my work gets done, my managers are pretty flexible. I don't even like request vacation time. I just tell them I'm gonna be off. I'm using blur eyeshadow in the crease. I just tell them I'm taking off and that's it. Like, it's not a big deal and everybody does it. Like, everybody will take a week here or there. And I love that about my new position and this new company and just my manager that I'm with, which happens to be an old manager from my old job. So I know him and I know a lot of my teammates as well. I worked with them before, so I really love the dynamic. All right, going in with this new palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Cosmos palette. And I have not done an up close of this. I haven't done swatches or anything. I'm just digging in, so I'm kind of going rogue. This is not what I normally do. When I get a new palette, I try to film up close shots of it in its pristine condition. 
but I'm not doing that this time because I don't care. So there are a few neutral mattes in here and then the shimmers. The shimmers are kind of multi-chrome, almost like baked textures. They're very thin and slippery and I love that. So like I mentioned, I went in store to do swatches today. Let's go in with Space Dust. I feel like that may be the equivalent of blur, but I'm gonna see if it's a little bit richer. This is a Sonia G Detail Pro. It's just a large fluffy blending brush. Let's zoom in a little bit. So this color is pretty much what blur is for me. I can use it as a transition shade because it's almost my exact skin tone. So instead of using blur, just use this shade. So I swatched this palette and I decided to just go ahead and pick it up. Let's grab Comet which is the more orangey brown. I swatched it and I thought it was cute, so I decided to just grab it, cause why not? And I had like my Sephora points, which the Sephora point system really sucks, but they'd had like this, this deal where you could get 500 points for a $75 purchase. And I intended on picking up some travel containers from I think it's pronounced Reese or it might be Rise, but it's these travel containers. Let me show you. So this is the brand. Pronounce that however it is. Rise Reese. This brand. And the containers are like this. So they have a set that's over $75. They're refillable travel size containers. So the larger ones are 3.4 ounces, which is perfect for carry-on luggage. And then they have smaller ones that's like half the size at 1.7 ounce. So I was gonna pick that up. So I was like, oh, perfect. So I got like the 500 bonus points. So I just used it to grab $10 off the palette. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Let's use Eclipse, which is this cooler tone mauve brown. I always gravitate to the mattes in palettes, that's just how I am. And these mattes actually swatched pretty nicely. The thing about ABH is, and I think they've gone back to their previous formulas before um, Norvina kind of came in and took the reins, I think. Anastasia was like, listen girl, you are running my business into the ground. Like, you know the whole fiasco that happened with the nonstop releases with the Norvina offshoot you know that little offshoot brand from abh and just the color stories and the formulations everything was just uh things weren't really going well so i think anastasia was like girl give me back my brand give me back my company and let me run things because you're messing up or that's how it seems because the palettes are a little bit truer to what abh was initially you know with modern renaissance and so forth they're a little bit truer to that brand aesthetic and they're still being modernized. Like they have fun color stories, but they're not so far removed like the Norvina line ended up being. So yeah, I think they're doing their best. You know, they're trying to recover from the fiasco that was Norvina and ABH. I don't know what Norvina was doing. It didn't work out. And now they have this formula that is pretty decent. It's still a little bit powdery, but not too powdery. I'm going in with Mars now, which is the darker. No, I shouldn't use that. I should use Dark Matter, which is the dark, like blackened purple. I love shades like this for depth. I love the range of mattes in this palette. It's given a nice gradient from light to dark, so you can build dimension. It's a little bit patchy though right up in that corner there, it's a little bit patchy. But there's a nice gradient, so you can build a mention for an all matte eye or as a base for a shimmery look, you know, like a standard look with shimmer. I like that. So other than that, what have you guys been up to? Hmm, tell me what's going on. So the summer is gonna be fun. I'm going to travel, I'm gonna do the things. It's weird because I've kind of ended up doing less with YouTube without even trying. I don't even watch YouTube as much anymore. I used to watch YouTube 
nonstop. Like that was my thing. I watched YouTube while I was cooking, while I was working, while I was driving. Like I would just have the videos playing in the background for everything, right? And then I kind of veered away from that and got into audiobooks. So I have Audible, right? I will, I think I can leave a referral link. I'm not an affiliate, but I think there's a way that I can use like a personalized link and I will get credit if you guys join Audible. But Audible is kind of like, what would you consider it? Like a library for audiobooks and they're associated with Amazon. I don't know if Amazon created them or they were bought by Amazon. They're their own offshoot, so it's not like it's included in your Prime membership. You have to sign up for Audible. Otherwise, I don't have Amazon Prime because I don't purchase things from Amazon that much. I realized when I had Amazon Prime, I was purchasing way too many things that I didn't need. Okay. So the dark matter shade we used, and then I'm going in now with Mercury, which is this kind of deeper silver. And that's how it's coming off, like a pewter silver. And then I think it's funny because with dual combs and multi combs, it's difficult to tell what the color is just by looking in the pan. You kind of have to swatch it. I know I don't love this shade Orion. It has chunky silver glitter in it, and I don't like that. So let's use a little bit of Galaxy, which is the dark blue. I don't think it comes off dark. Let's see. Let's put that on the outer lid. Yeah, that actually picks up over that dark purple. So I'm still creating a little bit of dimension. It blends into the silver. This color story doesn't really make um, too much sense just because the silver out of nowhere is weird and then this smoky... The smoky kind of pewter bluish thing. It's weird because it doesn't really come off blue. It looks blue in the pan because of the shimmer, but it really comes off as like almost a sooty gray charcoal black, you know? You see how that looks? Yeah, that's not really what I was expecting. This is a lot darker than I was anticipating for what I'm going for. It's daytime after all. Let's use Super Cluster, the blue. I don't know if it's going to come off blue. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it's a little bit blue. Let me let me dampen my brush a little bit. So I've been into Audible a lot. I've just been listening to audiobooks because they're easy to listen to. You can kind of play them in the background, similar to how I was using YouTube. It's kind of like a podcast, but it's a book. So I know a lot of people listen to podcasts instead of how I was using YouTube again, kind of playing in the background, and people love that, but my version of podcasts are audiobooks, and I've been really into the Bridgerton series. I just got into it. So I rewatched Bridgerton, the first season and the second season. I couldn't really get into it during the first season. I was bored because it starts off a little bit slow unless you know what is coming. It's hard to get into initially. I was really bored. I'll tell you that much. That is so pretty. All right, let's back up a little bit. I found it difficult to get like ramped up initially. And then after a while, I really fell in love. Let's use sun. I think that's going to be pink. This one? Where is it? This one. It's a little pink. Okay, 20 minutes. Let's hurry up here. Yeah, that's a pink. That is cute though. So I rewatched Bridgerton because I was waiting for things to renew on Netflix like Manifest and Never Have I Ever, which I love Never Have I Ever. I rewatched that as well, but I rewatched it so many times I was like, all right, I'm over this. So I decided to rewatch Bridgerton. And with Bridgerton, there's so much to watch that it takes up quite a lot of time. And I realized that I missed a lot during my first um, go around like the first time I watched it I probably wasn't paying much attention and I missed a lot so like I was catching on to things that I completely didn't see the first time around in both seasons one and two and my favorite I don't know if I have a favorite season I like both seasons and it's like the more I watch it the more I get into it so I rewatch them 
And then I said, you know what? Let me listen to the audiobooks because they're on Audible. So I grabbed the audiobooks. Like, there's a full series of them. It covers each of the Bridgerton siblings. So from Anthony straight through to Hyacinth. Remember, they're in alphabetical order. So it's Anthony, Benedict, Colin, Daphne, Eloise. Then we have E. F. Francesca. Gregory and Hyacinth, right? So you have all those books to read and then there are other matching books like the Smythe Smith story. We also have, I forget what the other one was, but there's so many books on Audible for the Bridgerton series that I was like, all right, this is it. And I absolutely adore the authors. So what makes or breaks a audiobook for me is the narrator, okay? they can really sell a book to you and they can also like ruin it for you. I love the narrator for this series. She does really well and then they have voices for each of the characters so it feels like you're actually immersed in the story and I love that. So I have been listening to these books non-stop and I'm so in love with them. I am so happy and I think I'm gonna re-listen to them once I'm done because I'm just so in love with it. So I kind of listen to them while I am going to sleep so it relaxes me but I end up falling asleep so quickly that I miss half the story so I have to keep going back and like re-listening parts of the books. So I think if I re-listen them I'll get a lot more out of it as well. Kind of like with the series when I watched it initially, I missed so much. So that's what I've been doing. Like I've been into audiobooks and they're perfect for travel, right? On the plane, you just listen to your little audiobook. I used to download YouTube videos so I'd have them to watch. Now I just have my audiobook and it's perfect. I still have my YouTube videos. They're still creators that I watch consistently but I'm not as invested anymore. And honestly, I think it started with Peter Mon when he got sick. First he was in his accident and that was about a year ago, but that started me kind of weaning off of YouTube because he wasn't posting his daily vlogs because that's what I would really listen to his vlogs every night I would listen to his vlogs and go to sleep but when he stopped doing the vlogs for a while I had to find something else so that's when I started to like diversify what I was doing and diversifying even the channels I was watching that's when I found khaki from khaki reviews beauty I also love Hannah Louise posting but she doesn't post her long videos anymore I truly miss her long videos. Of course I have Lauren from Lauren May Beauty to watch. She does longer videos and she posts consistently as well. So those creators used to keep me company. Khaki especially because I could go back now and watch her older videos because I'd just gotten into her, which was great. I had like a backlog of videos to watch. So that was really good. But then I was like, oh, I just want to listen to audiobooks and that's what I got into. And then Peter came back and I was like, great, I get to listen to Peter again. But he doesn't post um, daily anymore. He takes his breaks when he feels like it or when he needs the time off, which is great for your mental health, especially if you don't feel up to it, go enjoy your life. You don't have to film daily. You don't have to feel obligated, right? But because he wasn't posting daily, I didn't feel obligated to check YouTube daily. This mirror is gonna drive me nuts because my other mirror, where is it? It, the battery is kaput, so I have to keep it plugged in. But then when I keep it plugged in, it damages the battery even further. And then it just conked out yesterday. I had my other, like my backup. My problem with this mirror, it's a simple human mirror. This specific one doesn't stay on unless you're right in front of it. I used to put tape on the sensor on the other mirror and that would keep it on because that would kind of fool the sensor into thinking there's someone located right in front of it. You know, just a little tape, that's my position sensor. But with this one, it still goes off. So 
Let's see if the tape will work this time. Anyway, concealer was my Givenchy, which I have really been loving. Let's go in now with my one size powder. I am late, guys. I need to go. My brother was like, get here by 6, and now it's... <sighs> it's almost 6. Is it almost 6? What time is it? Where's my phone? My phone dropped. It is 5.39. I need to go. All right, let me get my my brush <laughs> I am yeah I suck I need to go I'm dressed though the good thing is I already put my clothes on so I have what I'm wearing on I don't have to put clothes on I just have to pop my shoes on and go so I kind of planned ahead with that because usually I would do my face and then get dressed this time I was thinking ahead and went ahead usually I don't wear makeup over to my brother's house but I figured I could just film something and get some content going you know cuz why not so powder yeah I think I still want to put on my Kosas powder my cloud set no this is the darker one I have a pillowy is this pillowy and yeah pillowy is my shade I have softly as well but it's a little richer so yeah that's what I've been up to I went to Jamaica, it was great. I went to Couples in Negril. Couples sucked away. I didn't love the resort. because, Well, you know what? The pool and the beach, the beach especially was lovely. It's beautiful white sand and it's fine sand and it's really gorgeous water. You know, it's clear, you can see through. The activities are cute too because they have like a glass bottom boat you can go on, which is included, it's an all-inclusive, and you can go snorkeling, and there's always kayaking, there's no jet skis, but you know, kayaking, they have the water bikes as well, you can do wakeboarding, so it's a cute little resort, but the food was so-so, it wasn't the best, and then, you had to get reservations for like the fancier restaurants. So the fanciest restaurant, we didn't get a reservation until Thursday night, which is bad because that's four days before we could get a reservation to that specific restaurant. And then there's another restaurant that was a little bit more casual, but you still had to make a reservation. We got into that restaurant, so that was fine. And then there's like the buffet and then the 24 hour spot well it wasn't really 24 hours but it was the spot that was after hours that served snacks so you could get that but I didn't love the restaurants I didn't love the food and the room was really outdated like so behind the time let me go ahead with this blush I'm going to use the Dior blush in Rosewood so couples has been around for a while and I should have thought about that right it's been around for a while, so it's on the older side of things, and they have not updated the rooms because it's a huge resort. There's so many rooms. Like, it's huge. So for the upkeep and then to renovate all the rooms would be quite a lot. So things are a little bit older, you know, not as luxurious as the price would imply. And I did not love that. Just using some liner now. I didn't love that. It was far away, but we had a shuttle from the airport to, to the, um, the hotel. It was fine. All of that was fine. The, the service there was great as well. Like, everybody was great, right? It has nothing to do with the actual people there or even the beach and the premises. It's just outdated and the food was not as delicious I'm in Jamaica I'm expecting to have like really you know delicious food it was not that great I would not necessarily recommend that hotel if you're looking for a really luxurious experience okay my face is done let me put on some lip balm I've been really loving this lip balm from what is it called summer Fridays oh yeah it is summer Fridays this is just so great I've been traveling with it a lot. I've been using it a lot. This is my favorite shade. If I could recommend one. This one is Vanilla Beige. 
Really love it. Let me change my earrings. I never feel ready until I have some larger hoops in. I love hoops. Love them. So here is the final look. I'm not going to do anything more. I just wanted to play with that palette really quick. And I think the palette is cute. Like, this look is nice. It's not what you would expect looking at the palette because the colors, like I said, because they're like multi-chromes, duo-chromes, you can't really tell what the shade is supposed to be in the pan as you're using it, but then you apply it and it's beautiful. And I think this look is cute. It works with my top that I'm wearing and it just, it's a vibe, all right? It is a vibe. And so far I like the palette. It didn't get the best reviews on Ulta, which was interesting right i thought it would have gotten higher reviews because it's not bad but i'll keep testing it out maybe there's something i don't see apart from that one shade that has the chunky glitter i think the other shades are fine you might have some patchiness with like the darker shades but i think overall this is cute right it's a cute little look it's a vibe the foundation which one did i use i don't even remember oh my god Oh, the Sephora collection. Standard, love it. The concealer, love it. The lip balm, love it. I didn't use anything really new. The Dior blush, love it. But we'll talk about that in an upcoming video. But I just wanted to check in with you guys. Tell me what you guys are up to for the summer. Like, what's going on? Fill me in. What videos do you want to see? What do you want me to do? I'm going to do some videos coming up. But, you know, if there's something specific that you want, let me know. Let me know, but here's the final look. I will leave all the products mentioned and used down below in the description box, along with links on where you can pick them up. If those links have an asterisk next to them, that indicates that it is an affiliate link, which means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links. It's a great way to show you support for the channel because it doesn't actually change the retail price. It just gives me a kickback for you using my links. So it's a great way to show your support and I really appreciate you guys using my links. I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys.